Watch your job. He's like, get down. Nigga, I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you. You know what? I won't tell you. I'll tell him. I'll tell this brother. I'll tell this brother. And I'll tell him. Hey, right. Start with an A. 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 Yeah. I got a scripture for you. It's John 16. Got it's John 15. And, uh, it's only one. I started off with the Gideon's Bible. Oh, yeah, I heard that same Bible, man. This is John 15 and 22. It says, if, and this is the Lord speaking. If I had not come and spoken unto them, hey, thanks, brother. then they had hey, not sinned. But now moved. they have no cloak for they sin. Hey, so now you know what the mark of the beast is. Hopefully you know what you were, hopefully you know you're an Israelite. Hey, but hey, there's no more cloaks for your sins because now you know the truth, man. Now, at the end of the day, hey, we can skip up, we can sit up here and yell till we fucking blue in the face. At the end of the day, you're gonna see it when that market hey, shows us something. Hey, that's why the scriptures say whether you rage or rather you laugh, when you contend with a fool, man, he ain't gonna listen. Yeah. Hey, why this dude just walk past and cut him, man? This this man get the dude in the, in the button up shirt. That dude, yeah. But look though, all right, get back over here. He walked up and he just said, okay, listen okay, to him, man. Okay, you know what they talking about? The concrete. We know that we using him to show you how the spirit of the Most High works, man. Maybe the Lord is dealing with you, man. But now he's breaking those layers, man. It's a saying I use. I'm not saying it's in the scriptures, but it's a saying I use, man. man. What you know what I'm saying? I'm speaking as a man. What, what hundreds of years of slavery did to us, man. A 10, 20 minute conversation can't break, man. D, if it's not, if you not for the elect. I just want to leave respect. All right, you cool. Hey, you cool, man. Hey, you want us too, man. You know the Moors rule Italy, man. And it's hey, he know that. Hey, yeah, he's a black man. He look like a cracker, but he's a black man. He look like a cracker, but he's a black man. That's why the scriptures say it's left unto us confusion of faces, man. Because you got a nigga can come up black as me, man, and be a straight damn devil, man. Because they was raping our women doing, doing all the slaveries, man. So therefore, you got chocolate Edomites around here. Then you got people who look like so-called white men, but they from the Holy See of Israel. Oh, hey, I'm reaching this is this is our Proverbs 1 and 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Right. He said, turn to his reproof. His reproof is what a lot of us ran into when we were standing over there. We ran into the man of the Lord, man. The only difference is some brothers turn at the reproof, whether they like how they feel or they like how they hear it or not. You know, you might feel embarrassed. I was a nigga, I was a game banger, smoking weed, selling dope, doing all type of wicked shit years ago. But when this when this thing appeared right here, read. I will make known my words unto you. The most high made known his words to me. Right. Man. Brother, hey, if I if I may Go ahead, get out. Whether, yeah. whether it's harsh or rough. Like whether I, if I save this brother life and I pull him back, but he did he get his shoulder dislocated. You're going to be mad because your soul is dislocated, or you're going to be happy because I just saved you from getting hit by a car, man. So the way you get this truth, it don't matter as long as you get it. It could be, hey, like the scriptures say uh, about the teachers, uh, whether they be uh, harsh or the gentle and the, um, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the, gentle, the gentle and the harsh. The gentle and the harsh, man. Yeah. All right? Because like, like he read, 
Well, you called Jesus Christ was an austere man. He went in that temple and tore that shit up, man. Hey, that's All John right. 2 and 4. Yeah, yeah. So, when we, when we preach, we ain't talking about sweet Jesus, what this world thinks about. We're talking about an angry, so-called black man. His eyes was red for a reason, man. All right? I got scripture for you. Go ahead. It's Ecclesiastes it's chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression making for wise men. He's 
the Almighty, right? Stop. And what comes with being Almighty? Give me Isaiah 45 and uh, 7. What comes this, with being Almighty? I got a question for you after you go. Huh? Huh? Destruction. Destruction, right? Destruction. So what if I told you that as much as we've been telling you to grow your beard and get rid of the dreads, and you said, man, nah, I'm going to do my own thing, then you get your fucking brains blown out. Who did that? If that was to happen, who did that to you? Read the scripture. Yeah, that's correct. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. Go ahead. I make peace and create evil. Ooh, and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. The Most High did that. You know why we grow our beards? Out of fear of the Most High. That's right. You know why we come out here and teach this word? Out of the fear of the Most High. Because the Most High working. Go, go hey, to Inglewood. Right. You can see. I'm not, I, hey, I know, you know, you read the Bible. Me being a man and you being a man, I know you know it's the end of the You know it's the end of the world. The end of this shit. But guess what? There, hey, there, there's a, a, a nation of people, or well, a group of people that got the truth, and the rest of these people don't, man. Don't talk about a remnant. Huh? A remnant. A remnant. The, yeah, a remnant. Let the wheat and the tails grow together. God's going to Right, but you. you, you oh, oh, wait, yeah, question, question. I know. Question. A remnant. How much is a remnant? It's not, it's not, it's, it's, a, it's a, portion of, uh, 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 it's an extremely small, small portion. portion. How many people on this planet? Uh, it's like billions, right? Yeah, something like that. Six billion. So that means that a remnant is going to make it, right? Pursuing back to the story of Noah, how many people made it when the Lord side blooded this bitch? Eight people. Eight, eight people, right? Eight people. So the, most, so, so the most high, the most high is going to get ready to fuck. I don't know that though. I, hey, Come on. you didn't know nothing. I didn't you know nothing. You didn't know nothing. But this is the, this is what I'm getting at. This is the fear. You need the fear of the most high, nigga. No, you need the fear of the most high. Because you ain't fearing the most high. I do fear the most high. No, you don't. Psalm 36 and 1. So in the next, also, since you fear the most high, you better come back and them fucking dreadlocks better be gone. And you better have some scrub on your face. To show that you fear the most high. If you if you truly fear the Lord, if you fear the most high, if you truly fear the Lord, listen to the prophets, man. Because we right. the, we the we the mouthpiece of the Lord, man. I'm, I'm gonna tell you like Paul said. You know what? You're in the Gentile state of mind right now. So abstain yourself from meat sacrifice to act uh, to uh, meat sacrifice to idols and strain. Hey, listen, and strain from um, eating blood, man. I, I'm not saying you do, but I'm gonna make it easy for you, man. All right. Drink or smoke a drug. All right. Hey, have a have a nice day, man. Have a good day. Have a nice day. Hey, matter of fact, grab Proverbs 28:9. Y'all know about the apocrypha, right? Yeah. What what y'all what y'all think about the apocrypha? We got it. it. <laughs> we use it. It go hand in hand. Y'all use the apocrypha. Y'all yeah. y'all use the Kabbalah and all that. No. no hey, Kabbalah has nothing to do with the apocrypha. Yeah. The Kabbalah, first of all, that really goes to Judaism, which is completely different from the actual truth of the uh, uh, of what the Hebrew Israelites actually followed. Man. Now, I don't have nothing wrong with what y'all saying, you feel me? Because I, I feel like, you feel me? I personally live and say, you feel me? I, I tell my homies about, you feel me? Let's have a dress all the time. How we act, you feel me? How we dress, how we, dress, how right. we carry ourselves, you feel me? I understand this. My auntie, she live in Israel. She a Hebrew Israelite. Right. She, she came up on the Vietnam I mean? I don't, I don't know who she came up under, but she stayed with one of the main camps, you feel me? Out there in Israel. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I believe that's Ben Ami's camp. So, when she know, passed I understand away. what y'all saying. Going I don't have no issue with, with nothing that y'all saying. I get it. All right. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead, I'll back to your scripture. Real quick, huh? This um, uh, this was that dude, man. That's why he couldn't get it. It's uh, Proverbs chapter twenty-seven, verse twenty-two. Though thou shouldest bring a fool and a mortal among wheat with a peasant, yet would not his foolishness depart from him. So even though the brothers bringing scripture after scripture, trying to break down the stronghold that he got because he got a demon on him, man. All right? And the only way you're going to learn this truth, you got to be broken down first, man. If you have a house that's infested, right, before you build a new one, what you got to do? You got to tear the old infested house down, right, and then rebuild on that foundation, right? Hey, you've been in this world all your life, man. You've been told lies. So now you come to this truth, you got to be humble, get broke back down, understand that you learned the whole lie, and get built back up in the righteous way, man. Yeah, that's why that's why Israel, that's why the homeland of Israel gotta be destroyed. Because we gotta clear we gotta break it all down so we can build it back up. We gotta break down that defiled ass uh, our, our defiled ass place and clear out them gutter rats and raise back uh and build up the kingdom of heaven, man. You know? uh, the
answer the, the brother Mark question. Roll. I don't know where the uh, fuck he went. Mark Roll. But, uh, what's what? What's wrong? Oh, hey, yeah. they, you know, they, just, they ain't hitting them up. Hey, man, yeah, to answer the brother question exactly. real quick. Because you, you did it. you want to? For edification, okay? So he wanted to know, is the apocrypha, is that a part of the Bible? Read that scripture. Somebody got 1611 too? Somebody got that 1611? Anybody? This is 2 Chronicles chapter 33, verse 12. And when he was in affliction, he besought the Lord his power. Right, it's talking about King Manasseh. Okay? He was going off being being a goofy. Doing all type of wicked shit. And the most I jacked his ass up. Go ahead. And humbled himself greatly before the uh, before the power of his fathers. Uh -huh. And prayed unto him, and he was entreated of him. And heard his supplication, and brought him again to Jerusalem into his kingdom. Right, he prayed, and and he was heard of the Most High. Now skip down to that other verse I said. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nah, eighteen. Go ahead. This is verse eighteen. Now the rest of the acts of Manasseh, and his prayer unto his power, and the words of the seers that spake to him. In the name of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai of Israel. Right. So his acts and his prayer. What you see in the Apocrypha, what's it called? The prayer of Manasseh, king of Judah. That's how you know the Apocrypha is a part of the scriptures. Okay. And, and, and also the book of Esther. The book of Esther isn't complete in uh, in these scriptures, man. That's right. it's, it's finished off in here. That's why it says the rest of the chapters of the book of Esther, man. Uh, you know, it starts in here and then it finishes off in the uh, scriptures. Hey, look at uh, the book of Daniel. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Mm -hmm. Those are the three holy children. Right. And yeah, that's in the apocrypha. In the apocrypha. Okay, so yeah. I, I guess the nigga has something more important to do, but... So the answer is question. Yeah, the Bible, the, 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 the Bible instruction group wanted to take this out because it has too much truth in it. It has too much history validating the Bible, man. That's why when you go into uh, get uh, Second Ezra uh, six, you know, it shows that who's gonna be ruling in the last days and who's gonna be next, man. That's that's the reason. And it also prophesies that this guy was gonna, uh, this image was gonna be created, man, and deceive many people. Go ahead. This is Second Ezra chapter six, right. verse nine. For Esau is the end of the world. Esau is the end of the world. Esau is the forefather of you, all you so-called white people out here, man. Yeah. Your lineage goes back to the man Esau. His name was later changed to Edom, meaning you, uh, uh, Edom in the Hebrew is Adawam, meaning red, man. Y'all people ain't white, y'all red, man. You can see your blood through your skin, you know? Go ahead. And that's one of the that's one of the main reasons that we know that y'all Edom. Also, when we go into the right. book of, uh... And then it's uh, wasted away in C2. Yeah, you know, yeah, I saw you. Esau. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Esau means wasted away. Your pigmentation is wasted away, man. That's why y'all the only people on the earth without melanin. You know? Go ahead. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows it. Right, and Jacob is the beginning of the next world. That's that's one of the main reasons why they didn't want uh, us reading Apocrypha. Because it reveals that they are Esau and that when their world goes down, that our world, the, the world of Israel, the cosmos of Israel, that's going to be saved. You know, the, the, the people that is talking about John 3.16, that's the uprising of us, man. Once these devils go down. You know, get uh, Isaiah 45 and 17. This is Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel, Israel, not everybody, man. The blacks, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are now calling ourselves blacks, Negroes, uh, uh, D Dominicans, Haitians, because we are conquered by uh, our oppressor, man. We was conquered. We are conquered by our evil brother, the so-called white man, man. You know, go ahead. But Israel shall be saved, and the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Israel is going to be saved with the Lord and the kingdom of heaven, the everlasting kingdom. Get, uh, now get Daniel's two and forty-four. That that all that all pertains to the children of Israel, man. Starting with the elect. Go ahead. Uh. It's Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. The Lord is going to have mercy on, on Jacob, whose name was later changed to Israel. Israel in the Hebrew is Yasharala. He is the prince of the power, man. That's why we carry ourselves as royalty, because we're not niggas no more. We're not Negroes. We're not Mexicans. We're the prince of the power, man. That's why we stopped being poor. That's why we shut off that old man and became a new man in Yahweh Shai man. That's right. You know? Go ahead. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. And will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Right, and will set them in their own land. So uh, the, the brother 
that was up here earlier with the glasses, he uh, said that his mom's was up in Israel, man. That's going off because the, because the scriptures say that the Lord was going to set us in our own land, man. Right. Not, not, not we're going to go there on our free will or that uh, or, or them Jews is up in there. The Lord didn't set them in there, man. They got that land off the Balfour de Declaration, man. Which that's why I believe his mother probably followed Ben Amin, man. Right. Uh, right. Which well, likely she's going to die over there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, grab some real quick and it's right back on you, brother. Get some sauce, 63rd chapter. Man, that kind of reminds me of, all right, you get put on punishment, and then you sneak out the house. You sneak out the house. Hey, wait, when you did something to get punished, you know, it, uh, 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 just take your punishment, man. You know, going back over to Israel, in the prophecy it said that they shall see it no more again. All right, so what the fuck are you doing going over there? Because they not acknowledge to see, you know what? Because obviously they don't understand or read the prophecies, man. All right, well, they don't understand it. Because if they understood the prophecies, if they understood the prophecies, they wouldn't have went their bus back over there, man. That's right. They would have stayed the hell away from that place. Right. All right, but go ahead and bring that scripture out. 63 and 1. It's kind of rough. Psalm 63 and 1, O Yahweh, thou art my power. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsts for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a... 66, brother. 66. 66. Isaiah, or Psalm 66 and 1. No, 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 brother. Uh, Isaiah, brother. Oh, okay. Isaiah. Yeah, that, that, that land ain't even our land right now. That's a, That land, uh, the scripts call, is a desolation right now, man. Oh, it's a fucking desert. Hey, how... Hey, trees don't even grow God, over there, man. Jerusalem, what's they, that's they, like they that. actually have to to bring in uh, uh, trees and grass to plant. There's a word for that, which Kaputs. I, which I, there you go, Kaputs. They right. They actually have to bring in like these trees right here. Those trees didn't grow right yeah, there. No. They brought they brought those trees in on trucks. Dug them up and stuck right. them in the earth. Yep. They have to do the same thing in the land of Israel. So defiled, the grass don't even grow over there, man. Right. That place is cursed right now. Right. Okay. That's not that that the, and that's not the holy people over there. That's the those are Edomites. That's the same as these people that just walked by. Right. Which proves that the children of Israel is not in Israel because it says the trees are going to rejoice when we get back to that Con land. Con. Right. All right. It, it's, that, it's a desert, man, because the people of Israel is not them, man. That, that, that section, that area of land is called the Fertile Crescent for a reason, all right, which means it's the, uh, it has a lot of resources. The minerals in the soil is very good for uh, vegetation, man. Look at it today, man. It ain't nothing what it used to be. You know why? Because the Lord took the Israelite, uh, the Israelites from that land, man. They got that new land's beaches cursed. over there, man. Exactly, man. They got new beaches over there. They got the biggest gay parade. Uh, and and you, so you think that the Lord is with all that? He's not. All right. Scoff now. Cry later. Come. Scoff now. Okay. Sorry. Trying to protect. Trying to protect. Hey, you need to bring your son up here and let him hear this judgment. All right. <laughs> uh, go ahead and read uh, Isaiah 63. Isaiah 63 and one. Who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This, this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Right, because he clearly said that the next time he come, he is not going to greet thee as a man. As Jeremiah 4 and 7. He said he would not come back as a man this time. Go ahead. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? Right, so he on a garment like this, that was red, man. It, it was red. Why was it red? Go ahead. And thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat in the wine fat. Right, so he's comparing the people's bodies to grapes in a wine fat. Alright? You know how grapes are made, young brother, how, how wine is made? Right. So imagine a human body being a, a, a being compared or, or, or a parable comparison to a grape. So he said he's gonna. So the so the Lord's gonna go over there and stomp their guts out until until it sprays all over his garment. That's what the Bible said. We're reading it. Read it again. Who is this that coming from Edom? I said 63 and one. Who is this that coming from Edom? Right. With dyed garments from Basra. He said he's gonna come from Edom from Basra. Dyed with dyed garments, man. That, that, the Edom is, is the biblical name of so-called white people. That's their biblical nationality. Everybody has a biblical nationality, and that happens to be theirs. All right? That's why they didn't, they didn't change all the names of everybody over the centuries, because they've been trying to duck and dodge that name. 
All right, go ahead. This, that is glorious in his apparel. Right, and the scriptures clearly said that when Edom is found out, that's the end of the world, man. So now the whole world knows, and even they know now, that they're the Edomites. Okay? Edom. Me, Edom mean, meaning, like the brother said earlier, red, because they're really red. They call themselves white, but they're really red they, because their blood shows forth through their skin. Right? Smack the hell out of one of them. They turn red. <laughs> they laugh too hard. They turn red. They get sick. They turn red. Uh, they cry. Right? They, they go in the sun. They turn super red. All right? Go ahead. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. Right? I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? So he's asking a question. Why Why you got, basically, why do you have blood all over you, man? Go and, ahead. And thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine vat. Right. Go ahead. I have trod in the wine press alone. So the Lord going over there alone, man. He got a personal bone to pick with, with Amalek, man. He got, a, he got a personal bone to pick with that race of people. It's right there in the Bible, but they won't bring it out of church. They're going to come with that God love everybody. That's the doctrine of man. The Bible don't say that. It's never said that. Go ahead. And of the people that was not with me. Right. For I will tread them in my anger and trample. Right. And trample them in my fury. And look what's going on in the world, man. What will make you think, you know, if you didn't believe in God or if you, you think that there's a God, what will make you think that the Lord is, is pleased with this world? And if so, he's pleased with America. America is responsible for more blood than any nation has ever been on the face of this earth. That's yeah. right. Now, they didn't kill millions of people building this place. Hundreds of millions of people, man. And they still doing it. Go ahead. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments. Right. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon his garments. So the Lord going to come back and kill the hell out you damn Edomites, man. And I will stain all my raiment. Right. He going from head to toe, man. Mm -hmm. He going to be full of the blood and guts. Are you damn heathens, man? You Amalekites is over there in the Holy Land. Go ahead. For the day of vengeance is in my heart. But wait, the day of what? The day of vengeance is in my heart. I thought God loved everybody. The what? day of vengeance is in my heart. So, so he not coming back to shake hands and high five, man. Right. All right. It's not gonna be a parade and him running down the street high five and everybody in the line, man. That ain't what's gonna happen, man. He said the day of vengeance is in his heart, man. Recompense, man. Recompense, man. It's on his mind. It's on his it mind. Stay on his mind. Matter of fact, in uh in Luke, the twelfth chapter, it talked about in what will I if it be kindled already. Matter of fact, get it. You done with that. It's back to you. Yeah, come. I have something uh, real quick. Yeah, go ahead, bro. It's uh, Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 9. Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus said the Lord, say, a sword, a sword is sharp and also furbished. Right, hey, that sword that sharpened is what? The, uh, the missiles that's going to come to America, man. That's the sword that it's talking about. And it's a sharp sword, I mean, it's going to be on point when it comes to hits America to destroy it. You know? Go ahead. And it's in, uh, in, in, in uh, America destroys, this, uh, it deserves destruction, Slaki. That's right. America deserves destruction. Why? Because it was built up off the blood of the Israelites, man. Hey, the only way to clean clean the land is by uh, shedding the blood of the people that uh, shed blood to build it up. That's roughly right. paraphrasing, man. So we got to kill all you Edomites in America in order this, for this place to be cleansed, man. And just like Sodom and Gomorrah, it's not going to be uh, inhabited no more, man. You know, because this is modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. That's why you got faggots and dykes walking around all over the place. That's why you got bestiality and because uh, the white man's in rulership. When he's in rulership, all hell breaks out loose. We was watching a uh, movie last night and, and all you see is folly everywhere, man. No type of order. That's what happens when the laws of the Bible is not in effect, man. You see this, man. You see this bullshit. Confusion. You see confusion. That's what Babylon means. 